show me, can you help me? You say, looking for the surface, always in the wrong way. Better hold on to whatever you have. You say it's easier if you don't have it all. I went. and I drive trucks. Welcome to a new video. For the moment I am located in Norrköping. I'm unloading some furniture. You can see it's very hard work. Uh, actually this is a hospital place and I have been here a couple of times before but uh, the thing about when they build new houses is that the site becomes smaller and smaller every time you visit. So this time I have my trailer with me and I would call them and asked Hello, is it still the same place for unloading? So they said just, uh, yeah, yeah, park by the tent on the parking lot And I said okay uh, But then they got here and said um, Could you turn the truck around for the other, around, other way around because there's so many cars on the parking lot here And I said yeah, sure, why not? Uh, so I had to reverse back to the T and uh, yeah, it went very well. I was almost about to ask one of the workers to like, hey, can you film when I'm reversing? But I thought, nah, <laughs> it would be awkward, I don't know. But it would have been looked cool, I think. People are just strange though, because there's so many places you can go around on this parking lot. But rather than just driving around to get out, people are waiting for me, like mm, this is fine. Uh, or they increase the speed to try to zigzag uh, past me, which is a bit scary. <laughs> it's like, oh, suit yourself. But yeah, all, all went well. The next uh, delivery place is uh, it's only on the truck, so I have to put the trailer somewhere. It's gonna be in... Uh, I have been there before. It's like not inner city, but kind of. It's a narrow spot and I have like vent stuff and uh, huge pipes that is gonna be delivered there. So yeah, that's what's happening today. And then we're going to Flen, Strängnäs and Eskilstuna. So it's gonna be quite a drive today. It feels nice. Make uh, two bigger deliveries. And otherwise, I am doing pretty well as a human being, doing my best. Some, some days I'm really tired and have no energy at all, and some days I feel more, like, normal. This night there were northern lights, the Aurora Borealis. Uh, I saw pictures on Facebook all over. Uh, have you seen the northern lights tonight? And, and uh, I was like, I have to get out now. So I took the car yesterday, uh, did some cruising around, like, hey, where, where are they? But uh, too, I was too late. Uh, but they said it's gonna be solar storms for two, the two next uh, nights. So hopefully I'll get a glimpse of the northern lights because they're ra very rare at this part of the country. Uh, but I'm hoping for the best. I think it's done unloading also. I should get out. So we have arrived at the second unloading place, which is not the place I thought it was first. But I have been here before and we were unloading everything back onto the back lift and then a crane would grab it from the air and lift it away. But there's a car uh, parked uh, where I'm supposed to be, so I'm just waiting for that car to be finished. And also I called them and said, hey, I know the unloading time is 10, but can I get there a bit earlier? And uh, 
they said, 10, you're supposed to be here at eight. Where are you? And I'm like, I'm just reading the papers <laughs> and the place is occupied anyway. So, oh, well, I feel no stress today, which is very nice. <laughs> Buses are allowed in that intersection. No trams. <laughs> Another successful delivery. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick up the trailer. I left the trailer at an industrial area and I don't think it's actually okay to park there, but it's like Sometimes you have no choice. Sometimes you have to put your trailer in a questionable area and just uh, stress over, have I gotten a ticket? Have I gotten a ticket? Because there are no, no real places where you can park a trailer. I have just picked up the trailer and now we're going to Flian. Uh, you guys will recognize this place. I haven't been here a lot, but I'm gonna... I, I really like it. They are very friendly there. Uh, yeah, let's go. It's about one hour to drive. I used 
to hold dear Looking for reaction in a dead end tear Everybody's telling me that I should give it up But I feed on broken dreams a lot Only if you know me can you help me you say Looking for the surface always in the wrong way Better hold on to whatever the same way as last time, the forklift was very tired and I got a bit of headache because uh, it's a sh very shaky forklift with, and it has uh, like lots of vibrations and it did take some time, like well over an hour to load the truck. But the sun is shining right now and it's just amazing, I'm so happy for that. So it seems like uh, here in Stegnes they are unloading the rig for me. Uh, there was a note that drivers stay out of the terminal, we unload the goods for you. And I don't complain at all, I can live with that. Uh, speaking of that, I have gotten uh, lots of comments from uh, mostly American drivers that say, why are you unloading your truck? There are staff for that, kinda. And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? Because like 80% or like maybe 50, I don't know. Most of the places uh, I go to, you have to load the cargo yourself. And sometimes they have a forklift or machine that does it for you, but it's normal on terminals like this where you reverse into a dock. Uh, they have a forklift and they're like, yeah, there it is. There's the forklift. Just go crazy. So that, that's a big part of being a truck driver in Europe. And uh, that's very normal to us. So if you can't drive a forklift, uh, the employee would be like, hmm. So yeah, that's the normal way. And in some places, it's like this where they say stay in your truck we do it for you but it's not very common actually but right now i'm just gonna relax because i still have a headache we are now in Eskilstuna and it's 3 in the afternoon and I just hope that the terminal will uh, approve that I am a bit late. Yeah, it's always a tight schedule no matter how early you start. loading the goods for me here as well which is amazing I'm feeling really tired right now uh, a lot of people get a uh, get an energy dip towards the end of a work day but for me I feel like I'm exhausted after a work day uh, I'm gonna go home after this it's gonna be I think it's like an hour maybe one and a half hour home I'm gonna go home and see my dogs take care of them and then I'm gonna go straight to bed. I am tired and my brain is soup. <laughs> That's how it feels. Uh, so while he's loading the cargo I'm gonna take a little nap. I don't dare to sleep uh, for too long because I don't know how long it takes for him to load the pallets. I was really stressed to get to Eskilstuna in time because it said uh, the latest uh, loading time was 15 or 3 in the afternoon 
and I got here like five minutes past uh, three. <laughs> but but they said, oh, you're loading to this place. Oh, let's go. <laughs> so uh, no worries there, which is nice. I'm gonna just close my eyes for a few minutes and then we'll see. Uh, I do have to go forward when it's finished, uh, disconnect the trailer and then uh, back in the truck. Uh, they only have one gate here to reverse into, but it could be worse. nice to not do the loading and unloading myself. It is actually quite rare that I upload and unload the truck on the same day with the same uh, cargo so to speak. So today was a bit uh, different than normal and it was nice. I have been driving uh, a bit more than usual, a uh, longer distance. I really like that. I prefer longer distance pre compared to uh, short stops all the time. When I have parked the truck today, I have been working for 12 hours and it's gonna be nice to go home and sleep. Also, I did not expect the roads to just suddenly turn uh, wintry again. It has been actually plus degrees today and the sun has been shining and the roads were clear and just suddenly on the way home it was snow and uh, snow solution ice on the roads so I was driving really carefully the scenery has been beautiful today and uh, I am very grateful that you guys have been with me today on this little vlog thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time Take care and good night. Years ago, outside of Munich on the way to home, it was 45 degrees and I could barely breathe. He waved and said, Hey, come sit by me. I was scattered buzz because when he spoke, it wasn't very soft. He told me. Unemployed with a perfect smile On his way to Paris No, I never asked why His English was as bad as mine But I